Okay, so we know these rules now. When you multiply with bases that are the same, you should, the rule would be to add the exponents, right? When you multiply, you add the exponents. So I'm going to have to add those numbers together. So what's the deal with adding fractions together? What do you need? You need the bottom to be the same. So this has a 2, this has a 2, so it's good to go. So this would be 4 over 2. And then 4 divided by 2 is actually 2. So my answer would be x squared. The next one, there's coefficients. So you have to do the math with the coefficients, which would be 6. The base is x. And then the rules, what do I do with the rules? I need to add the exponents, right? Okay, do these have the same bottoms? No. So I would like to turn this bottom into a 6. Okay, but if I do that, what should I turn the top into? A 2. So I multiplied by 2, so I multiplied by 2. So now I have 2 plus 4, so 6 over 6, which is 1, and I'm done. I'm not even going to write that. You can if you want, but you don't need to. Okay, let's try the next one. So same thing, there's coefficients, so do the math. 30. 30x is the base. So the rule says I'm going to have to add the exponents. What number do you want to use to make them the same thing? 15. So this I want to change into a 15. So I'm going to multiply it by 5. So that would become a 5. And the 5 I'd like to turn into 15, which means I'd be multiplying it by a 3. So multiply by 3. So I get 11 over 15. Okay? So like I said, you're not learning anything new. It's just that the math is getting harder because there's just fractions in there. Okay, so here, what's the rule with division? Subtraction. And those are over the same denominator. So I just have to do 5 minus 3, which makes 1. So my answer is just x. Okay. This is not wrong, but it's not needed. Okay, division. So I'm going to divide the coefficients with just math. So 49 divided by 7. X to the. And then I do rules, exponent rules. So I would subtract. And again, those are over the same denominator. So I can just go 2 minus 9 is negative 7. Okay, what if I told you on your test you couldn't write me a negative exponent? I do 1 over that, but where should I put the 7? The top or the bottom, what would I do with the 7, the number? I would need to leave it on the top, okay? It doesn't have a negative exponent on it, right? The 7 is separated from this, so that's moving separately, okay?
Okay, that'd be a common mistake. I would get one over seven, putting it on the bottom. That's not what's happening. Okay, do the math. So eight is the divider. X to the something. Okay, so we would subtract the exponents. And I'm going to make them both with a something on the bottom. They have to be the same. So I'm going to pick 12. Yep. So this would get times by 4. So this would turn into a 8 times by 3. So that would turn into a 3. 8 minus 3 is 5 twelfths. There we go. Okay, so again, you didn't learn anything new. Just make sure you're careful with your math. Okay, just a couple of notes here. Um, if you have an exponent that is a fraction, so I'm going to go like this, 16 to the 1 half is the same math as doing a square root of 16. So one third, what do you think one third would be the same math operation as? Cubic root, yeah. So this exponent is doing this. Okay, so what if I did 27 to the one third? I would get three. Okay, so if I ever had this, okay, so I'd have to do the math. What's 16 to a 1 half? Square root of 16, so that's 4. And then on this part, what do you do with the exponents? What's the rule? You would multiply. So if I multiply that, what's four times a half? What's a half of four? Two. Okay. So on this one, I do the math of the coefficient. So what's the math of the 27? So three. And then what's the exponent rule? Multiply, and you get 5 thirds.